So hello, welcome back everyone into my channel. So there is a question from one of my viewers. So uh, the situation is like this. He has a two post type, which is one is book, the second is author, and then he has a bi-directional relationship, and I think I guess it's uh, SEF. And then in the book single page. Uh, he wanna show the other books of the same author of the current book author. So um, I wanna show you something. S um, let's say I got a portfolio custom post type here, and then I have the SEF relationship field here. So this is the name. This is the name. Uh, this is the people. Basically, this is the people who work on the portfolio on the project. So let's say this the uh, online shop website is made by me, and then on the custom post type team. So team is uh, Indonesian for T E A M. So it's team. So I have uh, like uh, two people. Me myself and the other one. So basic basically it's by directional. So when I uh, delete this it will automatically remove the project from my name so let's okay see if i add this on my uh on my name <laughs> on my post on myself uh it will add my name into this uh post yep and then uh, let's see on the single portfolio let's see I will show f the first the uh, f value of the SCF relation relationship field so uh, this is the post I'm, I'm gonna show my name first I'll show the value of this uh, field so let's uh, go back to our bricks editor uh, okay let's add some container here spin it okay and then let's add some diff okay this is just for example I, I will not do any styling um, let's query query um, there are two way uh, you can uh, query loop the uh, SEF relationship field the first by using the Mm, apa namanya the query editor eh, the query editor the query option here and then the second is using the query editor so I'm gonna show you the first way uh, let's uh, see uh, typos okay Oops. let's uh, display the team who work on this portfolio the post type is team and then go to the meta query meta key is your is is my a uh, custom field name so let's go to the SEF field group and the portfolio field yes and here you have the team and this is the the name of the field let's copy and paste it the meta value is um i will sh uh, share the link on uh, the description so uh, here we only need to put the get ID so basically it's the post ID or you can put your dynamic data which is the post ID and then compare it to choose the compare to like something like this and then let's add some um, heading for the title post title the post title will be my name here is the post title so let's save it wait let's save it okay let's see <laughs> yeah sorry first title okay that's okay nice so uh, i'm not sure uh, i'm still uh, uh doesn't have a way to um accurately uh, showing the the actual uh, value of the query loop on the editor but on the front end it's fine as you can see it's only my name who work apa, who is on the relationship field 
um, let's add one people which is daddy so let's update and it should show now it should showing up two people okay um, the question is uh, he only have one author so let's uh, remove the I'm sorry remove the name of daddy from this post yep and then uh, let's showing a uh, red square loop uh, let's displaying the uh, value of the relation I see a relationship field from my post so if you take a look here if on graha so there is the, tr the tree of the project the tree project which I work on on the uh, SC app relationship field so let's showing up let's show it let's show it up it, it, it's quite easy you, you only you, what you need to do is just like basically the same query but change to the team eh, change to the portfolio and then yeah just you uh the same is it's it is it's, it's really really same setting for meta query you need to choose the post id and the meta key um, you need to choose the custom field name which is team field okay and compare to like okay let's save it and let's see <laughs> we need to add the data first okay okay let's put heading post title okay okay so the Ivan Graha has the three uh, posts on his uh, relationship field uh, let's uh, remove the project B to see whether the, uh, the the method I use is work or no so the project B should be removed okay nice okay the question is um, the next question he wanna what well, he wanna Hmm. Wait. Uh, oh, which one? Display other book. Okay. So, uh, that's mean we need to exclude the current portfolio or the current custom post, uh, the current post from this loop from this loop from this loop project because this is the current the same of the same of the current post you can see here same uh, the problem is if we use the query option even if we choose like exclude the current post it it will not work as the way we want because what um, the post ID of the uh, the current post, if you if you click here, it will exclude the ID not the pembuat apa not on this uh, post, but it will uh, exclude the ID of the Ivan Nugraha. So this post ID will uh, this post will still showing up. Um, so the one of the answer is we use the query editor so let's put this let's let's use query editor and let's just copy this and let's change the post type to team and to portfolio change the key to my custom field name portfolio team and then the value get the id um, yes order by yeah you can just like remove this and let's add one uh, what is the name parameter argument or something like that to um here post not in okay so let's put this and um so if you take a look at here the format is uh, array so 
uh, let's test it first array uh, let's see my my post type id uh, what, what is my post type id uh, yeah it's 190 eh, 169 so let's go back okay let's sign the code okay now it's it's it so now now this 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 parameter this argument is work what i need to do is i need to find uh, use the <coughs> uh, the code to get the id from outside the loop uh, because if i use the get the id it will use the uh, id of the current loop okay so that's why we have I need to use the um, get query object ID to get the ID or uh, outside loop of the current post. Um, so let's go back to our editor. Okay, and let's define the, the variable. Um, So let's uh, let's say current 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 <laughs> current 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 apa current post. Nah, if you see here, let us let uh, like I said, it's array. So we are gonna use the bracket to match the uh, format. Uh, which accepted by the argument or the parameter or something like that okay and let's copy this the current post to this let's save it and let's see oops mm. oh yeah yeah no no it's work yeah it's work it's work it's work project c project C current post get query object ID oh sorry sign code let's save it yeah nah, now the post of the of this uh, of the current post is not display um, if I add the B it should show up the project B and the project C let's see now project B and the project C. If you wanna, if you like, say, ah, uh, you 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 still wanna include the current post, lah. You can just like delete this, and it will show all the posts. Oh. Hmm. One, two. Mm hmm. <coughs> so like this. No. Why, why, why? Oi. Oi. Meta query post not in one, two. Hmm. Why? <laughs> How should I do that? <laughs> one, two, three. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to sign the code. Yep. See, all it all. Oh, see now the current post is displaying. Okay, let's put the code again. Sign the code. <laughs> eh? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. My mouse is just moving by its own. Nice. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, forget to put the comma. Yep, all good. Let's see on the other uh, post. Let's say the uh, um, the portfolio project B. Uh, the project B has two people, Daddy and Ivan Graha. Let's see. Okay, Daddy and Ivanugra Daddy. Okay, the project B, yeah, it should not include it. 
uh, on this loop if we add another project to daddy it should showing up oh nice so if i click project c it will the daddy will show one project project p and if will show two project project p and project uh, pembuatan project web toko online yeah just something like that so i think it this is uh, really simple it's better than my previous uh, way like couple months ago so you can try to play with uh, with your own code to uh, expand it uh, however you like so thank you for watching if you have any question uh, as usual you can write on the comment box below and happy weekend and happy coding see you and next time bye bye